Hello everybody and welcome back to Provis Gaming and more EU for the Third Realm, playing as Moravia. Great Moravia, I dare say. Look how big we are! We annexed Lithuania. It was super duper easy. Now we can finally start generating enough Diplo power to finish off my ideas. But there we go, guys! And just like that, we are now on top as the great power of the world. Larger and stronger than the Ottoman. I'm kind of curious, by the way. How are we looking in places like Prague as far as the institution? Oh, it's already embraced entirely. Perfect. Okay. So we should be seeing, then, that the institution is going to spread very rapidly around the rest of our provinces. What about down here? Oh, yeah, it's almost done down here in Constantinople as well. And around Prague... It's not spreading super-duper fast. Uh, if you don't actually have a global center of trade doesn't really spread around too quickly does it even so though some of our major um uh development contributors should be able to get that pretty easily and then we'll move on to the age of absolutism and i'm going to see my institutional spread uh go away which will make me very sad all right so with lithuania done one thing we need to do is make some new states i see several that are going to be cheap or rather i should say free and have very very good development Vilna comes to mind. That's not what I had in mind. Hang on. Vilna. I'm glad they added that uh, search function and it makes it so much easier. We can make this into a state for free because we annexed it. So that's certainly helpful. Next on the list would be Red Ruthenia, which we already had. Uh, that's this one right here. Okay. Guess we'll have to core you, but that's fine. Next, Mazovia. Mazovia? Hello? Mm, I think some of this stuff belonged to Lithuania, so it's kind of half off. And next we have East Prussia, which I think will be here. Yep, there we go. And we'll have to core one of your provinces as well. But there we go. Is that it as far as states are concerned? Yes, that is all the states that we are able to have. But that's going to add a lot more money, a lot more manpower, a lot more trade power. It's going to be great. Perfect. Now we do have to consider these estates, who are quite upset. Uh, East Prussia. Would probably be a good place to give them some lands. Mm, I don't think six is going to be enough. Nope. Seventeen. I want to give this to the burgers, to be honest. Let's give this to the burgers. Twelve? Not quite enough. We're going to have to give them a few provinces, I think. We'll give them this one. And this one. That should do the job. Okay, Vasilice, uh, conquer... That's over here, right? Yes, conquer province from Ryazan. Um, Ryazan's allied to Austria and Bukhara, huh? I guess we can pick up the mission, but I'm not sure how well it's going to work out for me. Anyway, in the meantime, though, we are fighting Castile, which should be pretty easy. Netherlands! Not a problem, we can deal with that. Oops! You're suiciding some men. Why would you do such a thing? You just gave us a trait, too. We're a defensive planner now. That's funny. Okay. Well, we're just going to siege some of this stuff down. Claims on our rivals. We gain a claim on Edirne against the Ottomans. Nice. That'll be this one right here, which we do need to complete the state of Thrace. So that'll be good. I saw Portugal's army over here. There's their 16,000 right there. So, Castile. Still not willing to end this. You're not allowed to be allies with the Ottomans. I plan on crusading them again. You traitor to our faith. How dare you defend the Ottoman. All of you guys, get together. We're going to go kill Portugal. I see some Castilian troops. There's the rest of them. Okay, they're coming to defend everybody. We've won the Siege of Granada. Perfect. So that should be enough to get them to end that war there. I will take your war reps, absolutely. Um, can't make you cancel with Portugal. Any others I really care about? Not really. Great Britain. Yeah, we could end that at least. I'm not going to really have you do much of anything else. Revoke a core and gain some trust with France, I guess? Could be okay. And we'll take some money from you. Get 422 ducats. Anything I want to take. 
Do I want to take this land? Uh, I almost could, actually. We could take a single province down here as kind of a, a launching point throughout the rest of the Mediterranean, but I'm not sure that it really makes a lot of sense to take that. Nah, let's just go ahead and end this war with Castile. You're out. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Let's go and defend up here. We could embrace the institution. It is almost time to take some tech, but we'll hold off for at least a little bit longer. There we go. Okay. So, that's done. And now... We do need to declare a war against Hamburg before you forget, because Austria is not able to defend them. So let's get our troops up top, and we'll go do that. Doop -doop -doop -doop. Royal marriage with Austria has ended. They have a regency. A duchess. Maria Josepha is in charge. Okay. That's fine with me. Don't think it makes much of a difference, to be honest. Hi, Hamburg. I'm going to kill you now. You shouldn't have been Protestant. Die. Thank you. Let's uh, detach a single guy here and go siege down their capital. Whoops, and Sweden wants to call us in against Muscovy. Whoa, they're allied to the Ottomans. That is not what I had in mind. I wanted to crusade the Ottoman. When is the, um, when is the crusade end? 1616. If I get involved in this war and then quickly peace out with Muscovy, I'll have a five-year truce timer instead. I'll still be able to fit in one crusade, but I need to end this quickly. Yeah, I don't really have anything to gain by fighting them, so... And I don't want to lose the alliance with Sweden, not right now. Okay, we're going to accept. But the goal is to get out of this as quickly as I can. Uh, you guys. Let's go up here. Siege down a fort or two, then we'll wipe peace. Five-year truce timer, not too bad. We can handle that. Okay. Uh, we're also at war with Memmingen. Are you Protestant? Nope, you're still Catholic. Good. We're also fighting Bosnia. They're not Catholic. We could convert them. They're not a part of the Empire, though. So the Crusade modifier happens anyway, apparently, even if the Ottomans were not the main war target. That's good to know. I actually wasn't aware of that. Hmm. Uh, you guys all need to run. My ships are going to get sunk by the Ottomans. Oh, we already have troops down here. I forgot about this. Hi! Okay, let's siege this down. Maybe I can get this. I have a claim against it. Who knows? Yeah, that's... Well, that's a lot of ships. Yeah, I forgot about my Lithuanian troops. That's super convenient, actually. Good timing. Full annexation of Saxony. Gosh dang it, Frankfurt. Stop it. You're not going to give it back, are you? Nope. I'm going to have to fight you now. Oh, these stupid princes. They want so much stuff. It's annoying me. Yeah, let's just try to end this war as quick as we can. I don't actually care about fighting anyone else. France declared war on Castile. Okay. Lots of wars going on right now. It's getting a little scary. Hamburg. Sue for peace. Force religion. Um, also, return a core to Brunswick. That was the plan. And then I can fight Brunswick later and force him to release Oldenburg. And everything goes back to the way it's supposed to. Oh boy. We'll have you revoke your alliance with Austria as well. I don't care about Bosnia. I don't care about the Knights. I don't care about any of these people. We're done. There we go. Alright. Perfect. And now we can end this war. Force your religion, give me your money, war reps, give up your claims. I don't care about your allies. Nothing else matters. Good. Okay, and now that's done. Still don't have enough. How do we keep finding new heretics? Four heretic princes now. Every time I get rid of them, they just keep coming back. I don't get it. Dith Marchin, apparently, but this is so irritating. On halt, you're still Catholic, but you have the wrong province there. Wait, where am I getting all these? Where are all the heretics? One, two, that's it. 
Maybe it hasn't recalculated yet, because there should only be two, I thought. Brandenburg and Dithmarchen should be the only heretics in the Empire right now. That doesn't seem right. Hmm. Alright, well. Let's go help fight Muscovy. Again, the goal is to just peace out as quick as I can. Global trade for Austria. Well, good for you. Yes, Cologne, you may have your military access. I don't rightly care. Uh, Swedish conquest of Memmingen stuff, don't care. Ally with Hamburg, no, I don't think so. Mm, Royal marriage of Swe Austria is kind of a questionable at this point, because there's a very good chance, very good chance that I want to rival them very soon, because I'm expecting that the League War is going to be breaking apart pretty soon. I'm actually going to decline. Okay. So let's siege down the capital of Muscovy. That should get me out of the war for sure. Oh, look at you sent all your troops down here. You don't have very much, do you? <laughs> Come on, take a couple of forts. Let's go put some pressure on the Ottomans, I guess. There goes the siege of Yaroslav. Uh, it's probably... Interesting, I don't have... It says that it's still minus two. Don't know why. Okay, I got a fort of uh, Edirne as well. Okay. So, if I talk to Muscovy and sue for peace, they're not willing to wipe peace with me, which is interesting. Mostly just a length of war thing. I guess I'll just go kill your men. How does that feel? I mean, if I do that, what are you, what are you gonna do? Cardinal Minister! Awesome! Clergy gain influence... Stability cost modifier, missionary strength, tolerance, and papal influence, or prestige. Now nah, we'll take this. This, and this is fine. Uh, to the last man, Fort Defense. That's nice. Kill this 2,000 auto man. Clergy gain influence. I did not catch them. Interesting. Go to their capital fort. Maybe we can get some more pressure on them there. Austria insulted me. That's a very interesting thing to do to your ally, Austria. <laughs> did you think that one through? I don't think you did. Okay, let's see if we can get some men together and go kill them. You haven't even managed to siege down any of my, my forts or anything. I, I don't know what you think you're doing there, Muscovy. But you need to die. There goes another fort. Apply some pressure here. We will apply some pressure on the capital. I don't think the Ottomans even have that much as far as troops are concerned at this point. Let's see if we can chase down Muscovy, though. Ah, uh, free Diplo power. We already have a cheap Diplo rep guy, so there's no reason to get another one. Hi, Muscovy. Muscovy's dead. Okay. Okay, I helped, Sweden. I helped. So now we can peace out. I can't take any land. And if I did... I still would have just enough time to clear another crusade, but it wouldn't last for very long. It's kind of more important to me, honestly, that I just peace out now. I'll take some money, though, for good measure. All right, I'm done with you, Muscovy. We're out. That's all I wanted. I'm not here to take anything. I would rather be the war leader in my own war against the Otto Man. And we have a truce with them until 1614. So that gives me a two-year window to declare a new crusade, a fresh crusade, call in France, beat the crap out of the Turks. That's the idea. We could rival Castile again, interestingly enough. Um, hmm. I'm kind of expecting that I'm going to surpass them pretty soon. Let's go ahead and rival them. Here's my thought. France is killing Castile right now. So when they take some land, Castile might become weak enough that they're no longer considered a valid rival and I just eclipse them and get some free power projection. Because we already know that they're right on the cusp, right? They almost weren't able to be, uh... Almost weren't able to be rivaled. So, yeah. We go ahead and start building a spy network against Frankfurt. I'm not happy with them. I might need to kill them. I can't fabricate any more against Utrecht, so let's go ahead and pull off of that. Full annexation of Cusco. No, Emperor Cusco. No. All right, let's get these guys here. What's the uh, supply limit look like here? 57. Good heavens. 
It's kind of crazy, right? Okay, we're going to protect trade in Crimea. Like so. I'm going to send you guys back home. And Sweden, have fun killing Muscovy. In the meantime, France is beating the crap out of Castile. Okay. A little worried that France is going to get too strong too quick, you know? But, oh well. Uh, we have two free diplomats available, and we can finish off our influence ideas. That sounds perfect. Let's do that. Perfect. Unjustified demands are now available minus 50%. Makes it a heck of a lot easier to win future wars. Heck of a lot easier. Cities attract serfs. Can get some more base tax in my capital. Don't think I need to do that. Morale of armies minus 10%. For 20 years? Holy crap. Now nah, we're just gonna have to upset the nobility. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna play that game. Absolutely not. Way too harsh of a penalty for me. Alright, Utrecht hasn't killed Verden yet. <laughs> Though they're thinking about it, I'm sure. Is there any way for me to get in uh, war with Dith Martian? No. Because Utrecht, I can't co-belligerize any of their allies to get into war with them. I have no CB. And you're in the trade league again, aren't you? Of course you are. My only option really would be to fight Lübeck. Now granted, we should be seeing the league war end relatively soon, so I probably will be able to just demand their conversion at some point, but... Even so, let's improve relations instead. That'll work. So Frankfurt, we could kill you. We'd have to fight our ally Provence, Aachen, Genoa. That's easy enough, though, and I think I could release some princes with you. Nassau. And Saxony. Two princes I could release. That's about it, though. Might be worth it. Uh, as for Utrecht, I'd have to fight Bremen, Cologne, Mainz, and Brabant. Brabant, I could have release some people. Utrecht, I could have some release some people. What happened to Loon? Oh, Brabant killed Loon. Okay, so the Netherlands are back down to one province. Interesting. This is my only way to fight Brabant without having to fight Great Britain right now, too. If I had to pick a fight, it'd probably be Utrecht instead of Frankfurt. More princes I can release that way. Far more. I don't actually care about taking any of their land in Westphalia. Although we could. Certainly wouldn't stop me. Yeah, I think we do that. Um, let's get ready for a war against Utrecht. What do you mean I have a st truce? I haven't fought Utrecht. Have I? Wait, why do I have a truce with them? Lubick, Muscovy, Utrecht. I do have a truce! When did that happen? It wasn't because it demanded their unlawful territory. Does that create a truce? If so, I wasn't aware. Huh. Okay. Well, I guess I have to fight Frankfurt, but I'm kind of disappointed about that. 1616, that's a long time to wait. Hey, by the way, what are my odds of inheriting the Palatinate? 14%. A 14% chance every time I die and a new heir takes over of just getting the Palatinate for free. Is that worth it? I don't know about that, to be honest. Uh, the Palatinate... Looking at the ledger, hang on. Country... Is it under just P or T? Maybe it's under T. Yeah, I think it is. The Palatinate. 88 development is not a ton. I could annex them kind of quickly. Wouldn't be hard. <clears throat> hmm. Alternatively, I could try holding on to them and force vassalage upon some of the electors. It's it's the it's the sneaky trick, but I mean if I if if I already have one. So here's my thought, right? So I could annex the Palatinate. It wouldn't be too hard, it'd be pretty cheap, and I could get rid of them as an elector, and that gets rid of the minus 50 malice on everybody. So I'm more likely to become the emperor in the future. On the other hand, I could keep them and vassalize a few others. I have two relationship slots left. 
and then the stacking malice doesn't really matter, because as long as I hold four of them at any time, we'll be okay. The other three would hate me forever. Might be better to get rid of the Palatinate, though. Take the land. Hmm. I'm thinking about it. We should probably be improving relations with them just in case, right? I mean, the alternative is that we spend 176 Diplo power to give me a 5% ch chance of inheriting, so 19% chance. A 19% chance every time I die, which will probably happen... Well, I mean, ideally that doesn't happen until like once every like 30 or 40 years. So even then, am I willing to take a 19% chance? I'd have to save Scummon, and I don't think that's very good. No, I don't think it's really worth enforcing their culture and spending the extra 176 Diplo power. I mean, if they cost 88, I think they cost, what, 6 Diplo power per development right now? Which is 528. I mean, that's the other thing to consider. It's a 19% chance for 176 Diplo power to save 528, or... Spend the 528, save the 176, and just guarantee that I take them in the next few years. There's a few different ways of approaching that. It's kind of a bird in the hand versus two in the bush approach. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not super confident about it either way. Hmm. Hmm. I'm really not sure what to do about that, to be honest. I'm not sure my, I like my odds. I mean, it's possible the next time I die, I just get it straight up, and it'll be great. But it's also possible the next, like, ten times I die, I don't get it. I think we may just want to go for the straight-up annexation, the old-fashioned way. Might be better. Let's get our troops in position for Frankfurt. We're going to kill them. Release some princes. We'll have to fight Provence, which I'm not thrilled about. They're allied to the enemy. Yeah, that's okay, though. All right, let's go ahead and declare this war against Frankfurt. Siege that down. Split, split, and split. Go here, 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 and here. Should be able to flash siege these guys. Nice, quick carpet siege, the old-fashioned way. Yes, yeah, Sweden, you may have your military access. Yes, Burgundy, you may also, and yes, Trier, you may also. Disputed succession in Great Britain. Well, obviously, I don't have a royal marriage with them. That's never going to happen. Okay. Uh, I do need to siege down Provence, who's already being sieged down by Muscovy. That's interesting. Uh, it is time to take some tech, so maybe we want to consider embracing the institution now. It would cost me 2,000 ducats, but it would save me 5% in cost. That's okay. Yeah, let's just go ahead and embrace it. Extra merchant for me! And now we'll embrace the tech. More tech. Can build universities, which would be good for the Enlightenment. And we have extra admin efficiency and more states. Which is pretty fun. We could get a lot more, actually. Some for free, even. Establish Sunday schools for missionary strength. Sure, that'll make it faster to convert Constantinople. Let's go siege down Genoa. We have an army over here, after all. Yes, Mantua, you may have. Okay. So, let's get these troops to go down to Provence. Your capital's right here. It's going to be pretty easy to siege you down. Can I get a general in charge? Yeah. Doesn't have siege value, but that's okay. Okay, we're killing Genoa's men. Siege this. Recall from Death Marchin. Hi, Aachen. You're no threat to me, though. Hmm. Alright, Provence, you want out now? Of course you do. Now, I could force them to be my vassal, but that's probably not what I want to do. Don't ally... Oh, wait, military access is fine. I don't care about allying France, though. Don't ally... Burgundy? No, Burgundy's fine. Sweden. Don't ally Sweden. Does that lose me trust with Sweden? I don't think it does. Oh, hello. I could have you release Lorraine. Oh, there is a prince. It cost me 76 war score? Ouch. Hmm. 
The problem with doing this is I'm pretty confident that France will immediately kill Provence, or somebody will. Uh, which means I lose an elector. Do you still have... Oh, you lost your personal union over Hesse. Oh, I didn't realize that. Okay. I mean, I could create a new prince. But then I'd be upsetting Provence and they won't vote for me ever again. No, I'm going to take your war reps. I'm going to take your money. Don't ally Sweden. And don't revoke any cores. Actually, I don't want you to break up your alliance with Sweden. I want to protect you against France. Now, what are the reasons you won't vote for me? Because we're in a war. We're enemies. Yeah, once this is done, I think you'll flip back to me. So I don't have to worry about vassalizing you to try and keep your vote. Okay. Yeah, we're just, we're just going to cause as little damage here as possible. I think everything else is going to be okay, though. And I'm not going to create a new prince. I don't want to upset an elector. Alright, Provence is out. Uh, the only people left then would be Aachen. Who's up here. Let's go siege that down. And Genoa. And we converted... Constantinople. Good. Okay, we could give that to an estate, but that seems like a terrible idea. Uh, I could create... Manufactory, church, 23 is pretty dang good. 13, 40, wow. Let's go for the 23 from the church. Brandenburg has embraced global trade, okay. When does this league war end? Should be soon. I'm looking for that die. Siege of Aachen's already done. Wow, that was quick. Okay. Take your war reps, take your money. Don't ally France. And you're out. Okay. And I think we can just go home. Just need to finish off with Genoa, and I think we're out of it. We'll release a couple new princes in the Empire. Crimean Separatists have fired. Okay. Let's go deal with them first. That way they don't get to uh, create any more years of separatism. Oh, and we finished it already. That was easy. I could take your land. Almost. Coalition would fire. But it would be one way to end Genoa entirely. Is it worth it? Probably not. There's always opportunities to kill them later. Nah. I don't want to take your land. I'm going to take your money. Uh, no treaties with Frankfurt for the future. Revoke cores against Austria, I guess. Nothing else matters. And you're out. Okay. So once we finish sieging the fort capital of Frankfurt, we'll be good to go. Split, split, and split. Go here, 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 and here. And we win as the siege of Frankfurt. Okay. With you out of the way, we want to release... Nassau and Saxony. Revoke your cores against Westfallen. Return cores to Hesse? No. Annul treaties with Provence. Everything else is fine. War reps. Do I want to take any land for myself? Probably not. I think we'll just take your money instead. Let's not take the aggressive expansion in the Empire. There you go. New princes. Okay. So the Empire... Still not gaining any Imperial authority. I think it hasn't recalculated again. We, still, we should have more princes available now. This is a huge League War. Look how many people have joined in on this action. Everyone wants to kill everyone. So Dithmarchen and Pomerania, sure enough... Sorry. Dithmarchen and Brandenburg, sure enough, are the only heretics in the Empire. I need to find a way to kill you. Alsace, Memmingen, Florence. Can't fight Florence. Doubt I can fight Memmingen. Nope. Alsace? No, I think we would have to fight the Trade League again. 
My truce with Lubick doesn't expire until 1614, so there's actually nothing I can do about either of these heretics. This is literally the best I can do for the time being. And until I can kill Utrecht, there's nothing I can do there either. Because I have a truce with them until it was 1616, I think, right? Yes. 1616. Six more years. Ugh, that sucks! But oh well. It's the best I can do for the time being. Get trade depots in a couple places. That wouldn't be so bad. But yeah. Let's go ahead and get our troops back home. We're going to have to do some shuffle splitting, I think. We do not have, like, any unrest at all, which is very nice. We do, before I end this video, want to create some new states. So the best I can do is Podolia, this one right here, which should be free. Free states are good. Oh, 36 power. Never mind. Okay. Next is West Dnieper. Don't know where that is. This one. Okay. This one definitely should be free. Next is Moldavia. I guess we'll go ahead and pick that up. I think this one might actually cost me some. 125. Ouch. Samo... Dutia. You're free. And lastly... Pripyat. And that one is free as well. Okay, no new states. We are back up to our maximum of 19. We can take a look at the map mode, and that's what we look like. That's not even that bad, frankly. <laughs> I was expecting, like, a, a green pox upon our land, but that's actually pretty close. If we could just connect this up, it's actually going to look right. Not bad. Not bad at all. Truce of the Ottomans expires in 1614. That's our next major war. And I'll go ahead and hand some land off in between videos, but we have to end things here. Thank you very much for watching. I do hope that you enjoyed. If so, then be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.